Well, road conditions have improved dramatically since this morning. The ODOT Columbus cameras show no major delays tonight. 10 TV's Ashley Berry spent her day scouting the highways. She joins us live now with more Ashley. Well, hey, Kristen, I want to show you what 315 looks like just behind us here. As you can see, traffic moving at a very good clip, but that was much different this morning. In fact, at times we saw cars traveling at a max of 40 miles an hour, and even that pace proved difficult. Chopper 10 captured the aftermath of dozens of spinouts and crashes along I-71, 270, 315, and other major arteries early this morning. From the ground, we encountered several more crashes, a result of slick spots that caught drivers off guard. Traffic at the 670-270 interchange was at a crawl as emergency responders helped stranded drivers. Some motorists abandoned their vehicles altogether. The wait for a tow, just too long. Uh, they gave us the e ETA of four to six hours. Natasha Greggs couldn't even make it out of her east side driveway this morning. It wasn't coming out. <laughs> wasn't no way it was coming out. We laid cat litter, we dug, and to no avail. Conditions were so bad on her side street, even Jim Schreiner of Broad and James Towing had trouble backing in, but after several attempts, success. <laughs> and Greggs was off to work. Right, give me a direction. We ran across one driver who came clear off the road here along 71. He called his friend for help and his friend brought a shovel, but as you can see, he needed a tow truck. Oh yeah, we was gonna get him out one way or another. Schreiner says this was a bad one, but he was determined to get this driver on his way. Oh, it was encased in you know a couple foot of snow, so I had to dig it out so I could get the strap underneath there to something solid to the frame so I could pull it out that way. A lot of a lot of dedicated workers out there today. Now in the web extra section of my story on 10 TV, you can find a slideshow of more traffic headaches from this latest storm. Reporting live along 315, Ashley Berry, 10 TV News.